last year was a good year for um, Bitcoin crypto cryptocurrency and all that. so I gained quite a bit on there and this is funded by uh, crypto so, so free bike thanks to chicken genius <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome back to another video, guys. Today I am here with Andrew, or you can call him James. <laughs> Not his real name. Uh, he brought me, or actually I approached him. He wanted me to film his friend's bike, but I, I, I stopped his Instagram and I saw this lovely Pinarello F12 disc in. Uh, it's, they call it the My Way, right? In Pinarello's terms. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so thank you, sir, for coming on my channel. Uh, could you please uh, do a quick introduction of yourself and tell us more about this bike? So, um, I used to cycle a Giant, a TCR Giant in fact, and then, um, but my whole group that I cycle with are all Pinarellos, F12s. Um, there's pink, there's white, there's yellow, there's the Grenadier, and, uh, so a lot of colors. So, and for about every, every ride, they would tell me, hey, get the F12. Get the F, get the F to get the F. And then, so they were like looking at carousel refreshing for me every day. And every day sending me links. And we shortlisted a few bikes. And we came down to this, uh, there were a few bikes we, we went to see. And we came down to the this bike basically because the price was my budget. And um, it came with everything. I didn't have to upgrade much of it. Mm. So that's why I'm, uh, I got this bike. So I got, got, got it very cheap, about 10k plus. So what we so, see here is uh, for 10,000? Yes, except the wheels. Okay, what wheels uh, did it come with for 10,000? No wheels. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it came with the OSPW, um, the power, uh, the, the S-Work mirror, uh, everything. Uh. So pretty, I think for me it's a pretty good deal at that time, uh, back in January, December, earlier this year, December, January. Mm. So that's why I settled for this bike. And I like the color as well. Yeah. yeah. You are a COVID cyclist? Yes, I am a COVID cyclist. <laughs> I started cycling in September uh, because, um, I, I mean, like, uh, I got tired of gym and all that, right? So I wanted to have an activity where uh, I can meet with people, socialize, network, yet, uh, you know, exercise. And uh, I've made a lot of good friends through cycling and mm. uh, through Odex, through various to-go events, to-go parts events and all that. So it was pretty fun. Yeah. Right. So, I mean, how did you get to, into cycling? You had friends who cycled, that's how you got into it? Yes, I had a friend who got me into cycling. He was telling me about this bike, that bike, that bike, this bike. So I settled for a giant TCR. Uh, so event, but uh, it, it, it was a nice bike, but I didn't feel that I like it a lot that mm. much right yeah. but it's a huge jump man, from a TCR to a Pinarello F12 yes so my first TCR bike was about 3002 I didn't know you know I had, a, I had no clue my friend told me get a bike get a bike so I went to Lazada I just said oh this bike very nice I bought it and then like Tay Junction was calling me hey what's your inseam you want to come down and try I said no need I just send it over <laughs> uh, oh, then I was like super noob then after that I got the bike then, I, then all my friends hey you never go and fit the bike that's the bike you just buy but somehow the bike still fit and it was nice. Yeah. And after that, about two, three weeks later, I borrowed my bike to a friend. My friend crashed my bike. Oh shit. And the whole frame cracked, the carbon wheel cracked. That time I was riding, uh, using a Hunt carbon wheel. But uh, the bike shop was very nice, Tay, Tay Junction. So they uh, did the warranty for my frame and one for one. And also um, One Bike Asia replaced my Hunt wheels. Mm. The rear, rear, rear one, one for one. So, but while waiting, they told me the downtime was three months. I said, cannot la. So I went to, then uh, Mr. Tay told me, hey, get the this TCR SL, TCR SL, very good. So I, I said, okay la, while waiting, like, he gave me a very good deal. I bought the TCR SL. But it was a very nice bike, very light. You know, it's a momentum bike, very nice. It, it's good to ride. But I felt like, something is still missing <laughs> something <laughs> is still missing and i was always upgrading and upgrading and upgrading trying to like find things to upgrade and all that and i wasn't satisfied until i 
Then uh, my friend, that's why they poisoned me. Tell me F two F, F two F, F F very good. Mm. And so I, I, I that's how I settled on this F two F. And the moment I settled on this, I bought this F two F, and I rode it. It was I was like smiling on my face when riding because <laughs> it's a total different animal. Right. Uh, when when it when you accelerate, it sprints off like boom. Right. And then when you ride, every pedal is like give me uh you know give me one more, give me one more. Mm. Yeah, it's like. You, Sorry. One more time, one more time. Yeah. yeah. Are, are you still friends with, with your friend who crashed the bike? <laughs> yes, we are still friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your, your F12, right? Can you please... Um, okay, let's start with the frame size. What, what size is this and how so, tall are you? So I'm 177. This frame size is 50, 5, 5.5. 5.1.5, right? Uh, 5.1.5. They have very odd numbering. Yes. Is it because the top tube length is 51.5? Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I d decided actually to go one size smaller for myself and it feels very comfortable because I have long legs and a shorter limb. So on the TCR, the stem was very long and upward. Yeah. So I was like stretching forward and always having the shoulder pain. Mm. But with this, it's very compact, very nice and tight and I can go really fast. Mm. And it's, very, it's a pleasure to ride this bike. Right. Yeah. And you have, are these, is it a complete Dura Ace uh, group set? Yes, complete Dura Ace group set. With a Zip 4 Zip 404. Okay. Tubeless. Mm -hmm. Oh, tubeless. Yeah. Zips are hookless rims, right? Hookless, yeah. We'll talk about that later. Mm. <laughs> hookless. Yeah. Um, and what else? So you have a most Thailand handlebar. It comes with the bike, right? Yes. And a S works power mirror. Yes. So the only thing you changed out when you bought this bike was the wheels. The wheels and the derailleur hanger. Because um, the previous owner, the whole right side was damaged. Even the lot of damage. So I sent it for paint job. I even sent it for wrapping. I wrapped my bike. I changed the derailleur because uh, the, the hanger was bent so to Sigei, Sigei, Sigei derailleur. Hmm. So yeah, it's uh, actually on the whole, it's a very nice bike. Yeah. Why did you get a Zip 404? So I, because I couldn't afford a 454. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but why, why Zip in particular though? Okay, so um, I ride the Hunt. It was a very noisy wheel. So every time I'm riding with my friends, right? Hmm. It's the noisiest wheel ever. Mm. So it's like basically like I grew up in Malaysia, so it's like my friend the EX5, stick a chain <laughs> in there. <laughs> <laughs> those RGB bikes, you know. <laughs> yeah. So when I'm talking to my friend, my friend is like cruising along, very nice, and I'm beside pedaling because I don't want to, be, you know, I don't want to like free free wheel and so I can't talk to my friend. It's very irritating. Uh, <laughs> so, so that's yeah. one of, one of the big reasons why I changed to the Zip 404. Mm. And also my group poisoned me. They tell me, oh, this Han and Pinarello don't go along, eh? no nice, not nice, you must change. Uh, you know, your Zip, uh, Princeton, uh, all that. So I settled, <laughs> I decided on the 404. All right. uh, initially they were proposing 454, but the wait time and the price is too much. Mm. Yeah. How, how, sorry, so you wrote a TCR and now the F12, right? Yes. How, how do you compare the, the right feeling? Is it harsh, comfortable, racy? Very racy. TCR, the mo to pick up is very slow, but I did the Odex 300, 200 and 300 on the TCR. It's very comfortable when you're riding. Yeah. Um, but the moment you stop and you go again, it's very tiring. But for the, the, the FT off, when you're going, it's so smooth and you pick up is so smooth as well. And, and, and this power mirror saddle, yeah. uh, how are you, you liking this? I mean, it came to bike. I love it. So, yeah. so um, I, I used the Giant approach, it was very painful, so I switched to Specialized Romin. It was good. I felt, oh, very good, this saddle is good. And then... Not the 3D, right? The Romin? No, the, just the normal Romin. Okay. It's like I bought it off Carousel just to try out. But then, um, I saw this bike that came with the Power Mirror saddle, and I'm super comfortable. Mm. I, I really enjoy it. Right. Yeah. And what else? Uh, what's special about the bike? Ah, okay. The oversized pulley. Yes. You know, I always pick up oversized yes. pulley. Is this ceramic speed? There's no. Yes, it's the ceramic speed. So okay. basically, um, I know it came with the bike. It came with the bike. Yeah. And it was uh, really very in uh, bad condition. How so? It's um the ceramic. The the bearings are need to need to be changed and all that, because um, the previous owner they didn't really um, take care of the bike. So a lot, a lot of things need to be changed. Um, but that sticker right there actually is uh, my daughter stick it there. Mm. And it sort of like rem reminds me of my daughter. But can I see also? 
It's like she stick there, man. So it's like, oh yeah. <laughs> Next time she also stick in front of the, the top tube there. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You think there's any difference? Over so here? I personally, I feel there's a big difference because, um. Wow, first person, no, man. Big difference when I clean the bike. So after every ride, I clean the bike, right? With the normal pulleys, right? I find it so hard to get into the the, the wheels. So I would um, turn turn the pedal, and then while doing that, I would be able to clean the pulleys much easily because it's just larger la. it's larger right. and it's better and that that helps me because i keep my bike indoors not outdoors right <laughs> yeah, so yeah. that's just only on the cleaning uh, aspect but what about it being you know not people much. claim it's shifting good la, it's faster not smoother. much but my friend told me to tell you that hey got a big difference because i can use a longer chain and uh, much more action uh, i don't feel that way la. hey who's your friend who's your friend <laughs> <laughs> hey your friend honey come on my channel no you need to debate about this <laughs> okay okay but uh, my it, personal view is uh, cleaning and maintenance la. yeah I, I i fully agree with that like clean drive train makes you faster man. it feels good la. it's like yeah, a brand yeah. new bike um and these pedals uh looks like speed play speed play but they're yes. not speed play right yes they're not so okay. so my friend uh, another friend um, he recommended me these titanium pedals that is equivalent to speed play and it's very very light but it's quite expensive but it's light what I like about speed play is because it's both sides I don't have to like find which side and all that to sleep on because previously I was on Mac pads and you know that's how I, we talked about because you're interviewing this lady that was running on Mac pads and said hey very good Mac pads so the, the, but one thing I didn't like about Mac pads was um, two things actually because I had to always find where to slot in it was, it was always bent like that. And the second thing is, um, there's no pull. So you, you, that you can push, but the moment you pull, it comes off. Mm. So example, when you're doing climbs and all that, right? The magnet is not strong enough. So I you're see. like push, right, right. push and pull, you know, the, the factor is not there. So that's why I switched from uh, uh, Mac pads to this. And it was also good training for me, but I really enjoyed my Mac pads. Mm. Yeah, nobody noticed anything. Yeah. So yeah. these are uh, OEM speed plays, uh, could I say that? Yes. How right. much are these? It's like 300 bucks. Right. Yeah. It's so far okay. Feels Perfect. good. Perfect. Doesn't very light. sleep or anything. No, very. It doesn't sleep. It's very light. Why did you get OEM ones? Because my friend said titanium. So I said, oh, titanium must be good. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? Yeah. He, um, in our cycling group, he's our bike sifu. Yeah. So, whatever he recommend, right? He is already. He's been cycling many many years. So whatever he recommend is like good stuff. So we just follow. Mm. Yeah. Okay. And it's good stuff. Yeah. Right. Um, do you know if Pinarello My Way colors like this one, right? Is mm -hmm. it much? I mean, I assume it is much more expensive than the normal colored ones. Mm, I'm not sure, but I know that there are only ten of these bikes in Singapore. Ooh, yeah, it's uh, especially for cycle work. So globally, internationally, the Zeus Blue. This is called Zeus Blue. Um, it's black and blue. Uh, but for Singapore, there's only like ten of these full blue ones, only especially for cycle works. Wow. So that's one of the reasons why it's like I got this bike. It's like, whoa, cycle works, uh, you know, and uh, this price, this owner. I was like, okay, let me get that. Yeah. So when I got this bike, immediately I went over to cycle works mm. and then got them to check it. You know, Kenneth and Yusuf were like very kind. It's like, hey, come on over. Let's check it out. Make sure everything is in order. They check it. It's right ready. You know, the no carbon issues or whatever. And then you're good to go. Mm. So that's the nice thing about um, Cycleworks, uh, yeah. everything from Cycleworks. Yeah. Um, you, because this frame is a second-hand frame, I, my, my bike is also a second-hand mm -hmm. frame. What is your advice to people who want to buy second-hand frames and what should they look out for? I think the most important about second-hand frames is know the buyer, know the, know the previous owner, sorry. Um, the previous, knowing your, let's say it's recommended by, let's example, um, good friends, like um, Kenny, Kenny Tong, um, like uh, James, uh, good people, uh, you know, long-term, long-time cyclists that has already, a lot of people know them and they recommend it to you, it means it's like, you know, legit. Uh. I've seen like, you know, my friend, another friend, he bought a P Pinarello for 6k, oh, he was so happy. So he's like, whoa, this is the best deal ever. And then we brought to the bike shop to check, brought, even brought to Cycle Works, Cycle Works said, this one Chinarello. Oh la. shit, yeah. got ripped off. Yeah, then, but then, that guy was like very steady, the seller. He yeah. said, hey, this one I want to refund. This is not a real Pinarello. You know, wow, it uh, doesn't look good at all. You know, all that, that doesn't fit me and all that. So that guy also quite steady, la, returned back the money. Yeah. 6K, you know. Wow. So, so for me, it's like, you must know the owner, 
and uh, who is recommending and all that. Yeah, just don't just don't simply buy. But I think most of the times when you pe- find people on Carousel, you wouldn't know them at all, right? Yeah. So yeah. you must so you bring a bring a friend, you know, a friend that has been there a long time, long term. I have friends. They checked everything. You know, when I went to go di- get this bike, yeah, uh, four friends. Four friends went down with me. Oh, it's like yeah, the owner was like, "Wow, so many people oh, was going me on. or something." Oh, really? All, all my friends, right? The Pinarello group, huh? Oh, all went down. Make sure I want to get, make sure I change to a Pinarello and make sure the bike is okay. Oh, I was so scared, oh. Then is I stand it? at the side. I was like, "Oh, what's going on, body? Checking everything, checking the body, tapping this." <laughs> like buying fruits, like that, I need a tap. Oh yeah. No. <laughs> But how do you authenticate? Is there an app? Like, I know like Specialized, you have a barcode, you use the app and you can scan. So, so we, uh, the authentication is, um, there's a receipt from CycleWorks, as long as there's validity and all that, right? So where it came from, it's very important. So I wouldn't buy a Pinarello from some, you know, from, uh, from some random, random, you know, OEM. I'm not sure of the origins. I'd rather buy brand new, peace of mind. Because most important thing, after what happened with the TCR, crack body, crack frame and all that, and... Um, I want the peace of mind when I ride because I really want to whack the bike. You know, I want to really go fast, go 45, go 50, keep up with uh, this guy. There's this guy I ride with, David. Oh, damn fast one. He can go on you 60 even. <laughs> His new S works also, I think should be on your channel. Yeah. Oh, damn fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he, I think he was like leading us, uh, all of us rode bike. Uh. He is on a Brompton, you know, and cleats on. And leading us in TMCR, cutting the wind. I no way, like, man. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, whoa. <laughs> Cut it in by short while, you know. But yeah. even then, it's like damn strong, you know. Right. So <laughs> I wanted to whack like that. La. So yeah. I wanted peace of mind. What so, were the issues that you had when you bought this frame? Were there any problems? A lot. So basically, the front uh, was uh, the front fork. There was a big hole. Big. Then uh, underneath the tube as well, there was a Top big... Top tube, you mean? Below, underneath. This one? No. Uh, oh, the, 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 the yeah, down tube. Okay. That, it, there was a hole there as well. How come there's a hole like? I have no idea. Usually if you fall down, is your leg is there? there, right? Yeah. yeah. So I patched it up already. How do you patch it up? <laughs> I sent for a paint job. Ah. Oh. Well, if you want a paint job, let me know. Very cheap. I can recommend you the guy. Uh. From Bike Technique. Ah. Uh, yeah, they are, they are very good. And then after that, um, after they did the paint job, they wrapped the whole bike. Why? Because one of my friends, we were doing Odex. And this guy crashed. <laughs> went down Faber super fast and crashed. Hmm. The whole bike, nothing wrong, you know, because he wrapped, with the, he wrapped his bike, but he lost his tooth. <laughs> 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 so I said, wow, very important, must wrap the bike. <laughs> but I think uh, if the damage is hard enough, even a piece of plastic wrap won't save it, man. Yeah, but the bike, nothing wrong. Yeah. His tooth gone. So I said, wow, <laughs> this wrapping very important. <laughs> even the carbon wheels, huh? 454 uh, oh, damn super strong you know so only his tooth gone I was like oh this one very good yeah, I must wrap <laughs> <laughs> so there are the only issues or are there more problems with the bike uh, so a lot of corrosion also so a lot of the nuts in, the screws inside seized because um, I, I would recommend you know wiping down your bike every ride after every ride and after added a new ingredient after watching one of the chat vid- videos <laughs> kire 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 <laughs> <laughs> so, after I review this secret, um, I think most of the people will likely, the, maybe the stock, uh, the brand will go up. But so, I, I don't know. Actually, I use Kire Kire, really. And this, inside the bottle is actually Kire Kire. So, if you see, if you use Kire Kire, there's this foam here. Most of the time, uh, if you use Kire Kire, even the, those uh, bicycle, those chain loop, all these, uh, black dirt or whatever. I knew Kire Kire. <laughs> Kire. <laughs> Did it work though? Did it, it work? It worked, it worked. So, so, so now you see it's so shining, right? Kire Kire. <laughs> <laughs> oh my so god. Kire Kire helps. Uh, mm, yeah. So, okay. so, so, a lot of, um, so that like my rear derailleur, right? The hanger, uh, the nut sees inside. The whole nut became part of the butt, you know. Mm. So bike technique had to drill the, the bit uh, very carefully until the whole nut comes off. So uh, I mean a lot of y- y- things were not working lah. So but then thanks to you know a lot of friends and all that that recommend me. Uh, so I got it fixed uh. mm. And also the bike is cheap. I bought it for ten k. But um, if you buy second hand and it's a lot of issues, right? You add up another two k to you might as well get a nice bike. But for me, I wanted this bike. Die die was want to have this bike mm. at that time. Uh. Mm. So yeah, so I really love this bike. Yeah. Um, hookless rims. Uh, a lot of people complain about them because of tire compatibility. Yes. Do you find that an issue? 
So I think the future, um, I don't find it an issue because the future, uh, a lot of hookless tyres coming out, hookless compatible tyres coming out. Uh, even the new Conti uh, is hookless and all that, right? And I really like um, this uh, hookless and uh, these wheels because they are arrow wheels, really arrow. Certain uh, wheels and all that, right? They are not like that. They are like rounded and all that. These wheels are really rounded, sharp, you know, so it really cuts the wind. And I feel, I feel I've seen the big difference. Uh. Any issues with punctures? No, no issues. Right. Yeah. But um, so I just recently changed the tubeless only. I was on clincher the whole time. Um, so okay, why you change? Hmm? Why you change? Because this bike must have must be tubeless, cannot be clincher. Why? I don't know this wheel. Sorry. Oh, this the wheels wheel, are sorry. Yeah. Oh, because it's hookless. hookless. That's why you can't run clinchers. Right, right, yeah. Right. So okay. I I say okay lah, never mind tubeless. Let's give, give it a try lah. So I always get flamed for for still being so old school. I'm still running clinchers. Actually, I prefer clinchers because then then you can fix it. Yeah. Yeah. My but friends who are watching this are probably laughing at me right now. Like <laughs> it's so old school, still riding clinchers. <laughs> clinchers is fine. So um, the one of the best ways, right, is uh, when you have a clincher. I used to do that. Uh, carry a tubulito with you. Mm. Spare. So it's very it's small light. and light and all that, right? Anytime you can swap it. Yeah. And then if you're on tubeless, remember to stop and let the sealant seal. I got a friend, another friend, uh, he was, we were cycling and then he got puncture, he don't want to get dropped. Oh, he cycle, cycle, cycle from uh, Lim, Lim Chukang all the way to Anson, then no air, no, no sealant, nothing, the whole bike pink colour because of the mark off sealant. <laughs> so remember to stop. <laughs> Let it patch first, right? Let it patch first and all that and then roll. Uh, so yeah. So, so since I, you have clinches and now tubeless, do you prefer tubeless or do you find it's much, much you can run lower pressures? Yeah, I find it I find it more stable. So a lot of people compare um like um clincher and because um clincher you can put more air about 90 and all that. So a lot of people say, hey, more air, more speed. But actually the theory for me personally is more air means on the road means more bounce. Um, like big cars, more tire on the ground needs more power. So if your leg has more power, more tire on the ground, you go faster. So that's why for me, my one of the reasons why I changed to the 404 tubeless hookless uh, with a lower PSI is because I wanted more power, more speed, and more tire on the ground to for mm. the, yeah. Okay. And I I feel the difference lah. Right. Yeah. What do you not like about the bike? I don't like the back end of the bike. This part? Yes. Because it's asymmetrical? Yes. So the F tail, the F is very nice. It's like an aeroplane. F tail is also asymmetrical, right? No, the F, no, F, F, uh, uh, sorry. F is like, oh, very nice curved down one. Yeah. Very um, balanced. Mm. Uh, the back, this one is like one side. <laughs> 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 but it's a nice bike. Yeah. yeah. So that's the only thing I don't like about the bike. Just the looks, uh. Yeah. Okay. But other than that, it's a nice bike. Okay. So Sorry. one of the hacks I do mm. is um also to share one of the hacks I mm. use is on my bottle cage, right? Mm. I like to have nice bottles. So I use a velcro in there, so it doesn't scratch the bottle. Maybe you can. Oh. Yeah, okay. So so. Yeah, I always have that. My bottles are yeah, like scratched like, to the core. I don't like the scratch bottle. So this one helps. Mm. So my bottles last longer. Do you <laughs> find it a bit much more tighter to push in now? No, it's much smoother also, and there's more grip. So I, I like it like that. Okay. Yeah, so I watch GCN. They say one of the hacks. This is a mm. good hack. Mm. Okay, so we'll move on to the Instagram QA. If you guys want to ask your questions, follow me on Instagram. You get to submit your questions via my Insta story. So the first question is, can you look and explain to Oompa Loompa how your OSPW helps a lot in your cycling? <laughs> please, please explain to me this $1,000 sing dollar piece of metal here. <laughs> so no, it just saves time and time is the most expensive when you come wash, to washing la, right? cleaning. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you didn't purposely buy this, like, you came in the bike. Yeah, you came in the bike. If but it yeah. didn't come in the bike, would you have gotten one? No, because no? I, I actually personally, I watched another video, right? Yeah, another rider commented that it's it makes you closer to the ground, which I agree lah, you know. So it's pretty much closer to the ground, which I don't like. I prefer it small, the, the small pulley. Mm. And, uh, less the clearance, is it? Less clearance on the ground and it's much better. Mm. Yeah. Why Shimano and not Campi? Keep it all Italian. Mm, well, I, I mean, I started TCR with Shimano. And so naturally, um, I, go with, uh, I would go with what I'm comfortable with. And mm. uh, so that's why it's a uh, Shimano. Right. And the bike came with Shimano, Dura Ace. What is the total cost for this bike? The total cost is. Uh, Let me guess. What? 10k for the frame and everything, right? Only the wheels. So I'm assuming these wheels brand new? 
Yeah, brand new. I will put a three thousand dollar price tag on that. So thirteen thousand. Yes. About there. <laughs> About there. I know my stuff, ah. Huh? <laughs> um. Ah, why did you decide on having a Dogma F12 over the other brands? I know one of it was you being poisoned by your friends. Lah. Yeah. But were you very convinced that Dogma F12 is the bike? Yes, so for me, um, I wish I listened to... I have a mentor. Uh, and before I even started cycling in his house, in his, one of his GCBs, um, on his walls would have like bikes. He, he loves motorbikes, cars, bikes and all that. And he would always tell me, when I ask him, hey, I'm going to cycling. We oh, was cycling, why get a Pinarello? Don't need to ask. And he said, then I think, why get a Pinarello? Uh? Uh, for me, in my head, it's Giant. La. Giant is the best, because it's like Toyota. Easy to fix, everywhere, find the parts, all there already, you know. But until you ride a Pinarello, you realise, wow, this one really very different, eh? very amazing bike. Eh? Is it because you paid 10000 for it? Not really. I mean, I, I wouldn't pay $10,000 for anything. But because... I mean, like, I worked very, very hard, you know. I, I didn't come from a rich background or whatever. So, I wanted something that can hold value and hold resale value. And the bike price went up already. I can flip it for, if you didn't see the amount, right, I can flip it for more. Oops. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll beat <laughs> it okay. up. No, 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 it's okay. Leave it there. <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know. Okay. So, so, so but, yeah, example, when F first launched, it was 20k. Hmm. Now it's 20, 24k or whatever. And my way coming out is the price is going up again. And with the current situation in Europe, the price will go up even more, you know. So you want something that can hold value. And example, you buy a Rolex. You buy a Rolex or would you buy like uh, something like a Seiko or whatever? No, you buy a Rolex that can hold value. So the uh, same thing, this, when you invest in a bike like that, right, you want something that can hold value. And that's what I learned through the hard way. So I lost a lot of money. But uh, it was money that I gained. Last year was a good year for um, Bitcoin, crypto, cryptocurrency and all that. So I gained quite a bit on there. And this is funded by uh, crypto. So, so free bike? Thanks to Chicken Genius. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. okay. um, wow, this one's so long, the question I can't even read. Uh. Oh, okay. Actually, I just discovered this, this is a very good question. Where mm. did you get the metal piece behind the chain ring which protects the frame when the chain drops? So I think he's referring to this metal thing here. And actually, it comes with frames. You see this metal here? Yes. So I also didn't know this until one day I was, I was hunting for F12s and I was picking out a frame and I asked the guy, hey, what's this metal thing? I sounded like an idiot asking him. Actually, it comes with, with very high-end frames. Yeah, yeah. So this one, actually, it, the, the, the metal piece uh, was damaged, the one I have. Mm, ah, damaged? Yes. So I had to go on eBay and buy the original one to replace it. So actually, it's just a piece of sticker. It's just a piece of... But oh, it's, it's not like built into the frame, No, it's it? not. It's just a 3M sticker. So it, I had to like... Um, put WD-40, slowly dig out the old one and replace it with this one. Oh. Yeah, but... I always thought it was, uh, ang uh, you know, like, uh, it would sit flush with the frame, so like there's a bit no, of cut no, out. No. So it's just like a sticker on top yes. of that. Yes. So, 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 uh, I think also when I wrapped the, the bike, right, hmm. they removed it, wrap it. And then put it back and, on. Uh, put it back. So one tip also when you wrap your bike, right, always tell the, tell the person to wrap it over the chain protector. Hmm. At the back and everything on that. Yeah. Okay. Can I ask what do you do for a living? Yes. Okay, let me ask again. What do you do for a living? I work in the IT industry. Okay. Yeah, so I uh, do infrastructure, more consulting and infrastructure for companies uh, around APEC. So, okay. uh, I mean, I will meet them, see what they want to do. Mostly digital transformation and all that. Lah, due to COVID, right? So, it was a good year last year. And uh, so I do IT for a living now. Uh, I need and to change career path, huh? go into yeah. IT. <laughs> <laughs> How often should one maintain their bike? I would say that um, every ride, wipe down, clean everything, you know, don't, don't be lazy, clean. So that when, you know, when you're ready for, you want to go and ride, suddenly you want to ride. You don't have to like go and reloop, mm. go and do everything like that, so your bike is ready to go. So it's also if you take care of the thing, the, the, the bike and all that, the bike takes care of you. Because mm. you are riding something that, you know, your life depends on it. Sometimes, example, just now when I was here, suddenly got bus come out, you know, and the bus haunt me and all that. And then in front got car, got all that. And I want the bus, the bike to accelerate immediately. And you want it to respond. Uh, so to any mechanical thing and all that, right? If you take care of the, 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 mecha the mechanisms and all that, right? it will take care of you. Mm. So that's why I practice this. Uh. Everything must take care, must jaga and all that. 100% agree, man. Yeah. Clean bike, uh, you go your long way. 
Yes. Don't let salt accumulate here and there and Correct. like full of shit on your bike, right? Correct. Money buys speed. How far do you agree with this statement? I think fitness buys speed. Because um, when I first came here to Singapore, I was like nearly 90 kilos. And, you know, and through exercise and all that, right? Um, I lost until now, like I'm like 75, 73. Healthy, la. I'm not aiming for like super slim, but just healthy and low fat count, high muscle. So you can spend a lot of money on this and not on that, but at the end of the day, it's your engine. So if you maintain your fitness, you know, keep yourself lean, your power is there and all that, right? I don't judge against big size people or small size people, it's just me. You know, so I feel that personally, if I maintain my own body weight and all that, right? I can, I can maintain the speed. Because mm. I got some friends who are like super petite, but damn fast. And also some tall one, who are, the moment the, they have the momentum, uh, unstoppable. So it depends. <laughs> mm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bike is fast, but how is it climbing? Climbing? How, how is this bike when you go? I climbing? love it. You can climb? So very, 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 climbs very well. Mm. So it's very responsive. Like I said earlier, one more time, one more time. You know, mm. give me one more, go one more. It's like your own PT. <laughs> <laughs> one more, one more. Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's very responsive bike. Right. I love it because of the structure. It's like a dog. Hmm. So it's called dogma. <laughs> really, really, you know, leg and all that is like a dog. <laughs> uh, <laughs> do the speed play pedals feel any different to normal look or Shimano ones? Mm. How were your previous pedals? MacPad. So only MacPad and then you got into this I one? Got into you didn't play. try Shimano or look? I didn't try. So I'm actually looking at the power link. But what's, what's the power link? The power the new speed. Uh, speed power. Oh, okay, okay. It's called power. Speed play with the power meter. Ah, okay. But it's so expensive right now, so I'm still thinking, like debating whether power link or just the normal me power meter. So, but I like speed play because I did a lot of research. Uh, Shimano, I walk around, oh, everybody know I'm coming, clack, 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 clack. <laughs> and then um, loop also, it, because it, it falls backwards, right? I didn't want that. So, that's the only, uh, this is the only pedals that were comfortable. Right. And also I have bad knees. I, I, I tried to play futsal before cycling. And I was very bad. I was just lumbering around because I'm flat footed and run like Donald Duck. Just like <laughs> me. Yeah. <laughs> so cycling, this one, this speed play gives you a lot of float. Yeah, you can float a lot. So I really prefer speed play over the other pedals. Yeah. yeah. The last question was, what's the, you answered the pros, what is the cons of speed play pedals? Any cons? Yes, the cover always come off. The shoe? The shoe cover. Like just now you mentioned it came off, right? Yeah, it came off. Maybe so because it's OEM, that's why it came off. No, no, no. Uh, maybe my cover here is OEM, the cheap one. So it's very soft. Uh, so maybe it came off. Yeah. But the good thing is also it's a dual sided. I mean, you can just clip on yes. either side. Right? And the cover is cheap, la, so it's okay. Right. I bought spares. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what, 35 minutes? I think we are done. Yeah. So anything you want to talk about? Anything else? I think nothing much, yeah. Okay, so we're done? Yes. Yeah. So that is the end of the interview guys, if you enjoyed this one, uh, do consider subscribing. If you want to come on my channel, just DM me on Instagram. Uh, see you guys in the next video and bye-bye.